The Makere University main building, also known as the Ivory Tower, was destroyed in a fire on September 20th, 2020, but it has since been restored. The reconstruction of the building cost government about 21 billion shillings. Shortly after the ceremony, students and visitors went to the iconic main building to take photos reviving memories of the historic structure before the 2020 fire. The restoration has preserved much of the building's original features. However, it is now equipped with modern fire safety and security systems, among other improvements. The ceremony of opening the reconstructed building, which you have just presided over, brings to an end the anxiety among Makerere staff, students, alumni, and other stakeholders by seeing their icon of higher education in this region once again standing tall. The basement of the building will accommodate the Makerere University Museum, and we will be honored to host the Ruero War Memorial Museum if we are allowed to do so. At the same event, President Museveni installed Dr. Crispus Walter Chionga as the new Chancellor of Makere University. Dr. Chionga has previously served as Minister of Finance, Health, Defense and Internal Affairs, as well as Uganda's Ambassador to China. In this regard, my preliminary thinking includes, one, deepening the linkage of the wider community of students and staff of Makere University with the central government and the communities of Uganda. Makere University Vice Chancellor Professor Banabas Nawangwe proposed the creation of a graduate student's government scholarship scheme to increase the number of masters and PhD graduates to boost innovation and economic growth. But we wish to enhance the training of our engineers through advanced technical and business development skills so that they can compete with international firms. We therefore request for your support, Your Excellency, to consider Mackay University like a district for the allocation of a road maintenance unit as part of the district road maintenance unit program. I would definitely support that to, so that you can have your own road unit. You teach your, your engineers how to make roads and how to build, build to do buildings and so on. Museveni has called upon universities to endeavor that courses taught to the learners enable them solve problems in society. Universities, including Makerere, are centers of knowledge. The question is, what is knowledge? On the, on the, on the side of natural sciences, these universities, like the ones in Africa, have been doing some work. But I want to you to audit, how are you doing it? Can you not improve? Museven reiterated his long-standing call for value addition to Uganda's raw materials. He says that the country continues to lose revenue due to inadequate attention to value addition in key sectors. In the government, I've been having a big war about value addition. It's as if it's my problem. You remember one time in Parliament they were opposing value addition to the coffee. We were almost causing a, a, a clash between me pushing for... Because now, when you sell unprocessed coffee beans, you get $2.5 a kilo. But that same kilo, after it is processed and sold, it can go up to as much as forty dollars. No, but at Kunda, NTV tonight.